Hello, future chef, bakers, and nutritionists. Welcome to a day full of learning. I am Miss Jasmine Garcia, your TLE Cookery 10 teacher. Come and learn something with me today. Let us bow our heads and feel the presence of our Lord. Lord, we thank you for today's blessings of life and strength, and for this great opportunity to learn and grow. May you bless our hearts with patience and enthusiasm. May you bless our minds with interest and wisdom. Give us the understanding and skills we need so we may gain something from today's class. Bless also our teachers and beloved parents for their unconditional love and support. Above all, heal the world that we live in, and forgive us from all our sins and shortcomings. We humbly ask this in the name of our Christ Savior. Amen. To start with, kindly get your paper, pen, and your self-learning modules. For the attendance, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And for the learning outcome of today's session, at the end of the lesson, you should identify techniques in storing poultry and game bird, assess sample storing techniques, and apply the proper storage of poultry and game bird according to standards. Before we start our discussion, let's play! You can pause this video for a while and scan this QR code using your phone camera. Then click the link and it will be directed to this website. What are you going to do about this? A photo will be flashed and you need to choose the factor to consider in each picture. Is it about condiments, plating, types of service wear, garnish, or sauces? Just click your answer and you will know right away if you got it correct. Are you ready? Let's go! Correct! Correct. Correct. Wow, very good. Don't forget to record your score and send it to our messenger class. Now, I want you to do the same thing and that is to scan this QR code and answer the following. All you have to do for this online game is to drag and drop the pictures on the left side going to the right and the picture must match one another. Are you ready? Let's start! Very good class! You got it correct! What did you notice with the pairs of pictures of flash on the screen? Yes! Very good! It is about storage of an object or food item. Now, I want you to answer the following vocabulary sentences. This is entitled, Choose the Right One. A sentence will be flashed on your screen and 
you need to choose the answer from the given choices on your left side. Let's start! The food blank because raw poultry comes into contact with other food. What is your answer? Cross-contamination? Correct! I blank poultry in the refrigerator when I came home. The correct answer? Store! Correct! Maxine had blank due to the contaminated food that she ate yesterday. The answer, foodborne illnesses, correct! Now that you know about foodborne illness, cross-contaminates, and storage, we can now proceed to our discussion for today. After poultry has been dressed, it can be marketed as frozen whole, in halves, and cut into pieces. Some parts can be packed separately or ready to cook. Poultry can spoil very quickly unless we can handle and store it properly. And today, we will discuss about storage of poultry in game bird dishes. When you brought home poultry or chicken from the market class, don't forget to unwrap it as quickly as possible and wipe off the excess water with a damp cloth so that water can be eliminated or removed. Then, it should be lightly covered with wax paper so you can place it in a shallow bowl and store it in the freezer so that we can prolong its lifespan since it can easily contaminate it. And then, when you cook poultry, it should be cooled as quickly as possible, then covered it to prevent from drying and don't forget to refrigerate the leftover if you're saving up storage from your refrigerator you can remove the bones of your poultry to save space but don't forget to froze your poultry and kept it in freezing unit until it is stowed for cooking class always remember that raw chicken and poultry can carry the salmonella bacteria this is responsible for food poisoning or what they called foodborne illnesses. Fortunately, it is easy to avoid getting sick from chicken and poultry only if you follow safe food handling practices. Poultry or chicken should be wrapped tightly in a moisture vapor proof film like canister, foil or paper and container and then froze it at least 170 degrees celsius or 0 degrees fahrenheit why do we need to know about this is it because meat fish or any animal based food product raw or undercooked chicken or food can carry a certain bacteria this bacteria can cause illness. Therefore, to avoid illness, we need to limit bacteria's ability to multiply or kill them all together. Remember that freezing does not kill bacteria. Either it just makes them cold. The only way to kill food-borne illnesses or pathogens is by thoroughly cooking the food. Safe steps in food handling, cooking, and storage are essential to prevent foodborne illnesses. You cannot see, smell, or taste harmful bacteria that may cause illness. In every step of food preparation, follow the four steps of the Food Safe Families campaign to keep food safe. First, we have clean. Wash hands and surface often. Second, separate. Don't cross-contaminate any food item. Third, cook food to the right temperature. And last, chill or refrigerate your food promptly. Now, let us discuss about safety practices in handling and storing poultry and game products. After shopping, you just need to do the following. 
first, purchase refrigerated or frozen items after selecting non-perishable so that our poultry can still remain safe for consumption. Second, packages of chicken should feel cold to the touch and should be among the last item you select before checking out so that you can maintain the frozen state of your perishable goods. Third, never choose meat or poultry in packaging that is torn or leaking because um, bacteria may be visible or present in your food item. Do not buy fast food or sell by, use by, or other expiration dates. So nearly expiration should not be considered when buying any food item now let me ask you a question what is storing yes very good it is process of keeping food safe from consumption and to prolong its lifespan here are the things that you need to remember in storing your poultry products first always refrigerate perishable food within one to two hours especially when the temperature is above 90 degrees fahrenheit or 32.2 degrees celsius second check the temperature of your refrigerator or freezer with an appliance thermometer the refrigerator should be at least 40 degrees fahrenheit or 4.4 degrees celsius or below and the freezer at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 17.7 degrees Celsius or below. Next, cook or freeze fresh poultry, fish, ground meats, and variety meats within 2 days. Either beef, lamb, or pork within 3 to 5 days. Remember that perishable foods such as meat and poultry should be wrapped securely to maintain quality and to prevent meat juices from getting into other food that will cause food contamination. Other things to bear in mind is to maintain quality when freezing meat and poultry in its original package. Wrap the package again with foil or plastic wrap that is recommended for freezer. Next, rinsing poultry before cooking it is no longer recommended. Rinsing poultry spreads tiny droplets of contamination around the sink and kitchen area. Any bacteria present on the poultry will be effectively destroyed in the cooking process. And when you're about to prepare your poultry or game bird, always wash your hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds before and after handling food. And do not cross-contaminate. Keep raw meat, poultry, fish, and their juices away from one food to another. After cutting raw meats, wash the cutting board, utensils, and countertops with hot soapy water so that bacteria or viruses can be eliminated. Next, cutting boards, utensils, and countertops can be sanitized using a solution of one tablespoon of unscented liquid chlorine bleach in one gallon of water so the ratio must be one is to one marinate meat and poultry in a covered dish in the refrigerator did you know what is stowing it is the process of ice becoming liquid or soft as a result of warming up here are some tips on how are you going to tow your poultry first by means of refrigerator from the freezer you're going to put down the frozen chicken into the refrigerator second you're going to use the cold water by removing the frozen products in the freezer and then third one is by means of microwaving the frozen product so that it will be in a soft state and when you're about to cook your poultry or chicken make sure that you have 
reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 73.9 degrees Celsius as temperature of your chicken. And when you're about to serve your chicken or poultry dishes, make sure that hot food should be held at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius or warmer so that bacteria cannot be present in, in your dish. Cold food should be held at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4.4 degrees Celsius or colder so that bacteria cannot grow in your food item or dish. When serving food at a buffet, keep food hot. Slow cooker and warmer trays can be used so that you can maintain the hot temperature of your dishes. Use small serving trays and replace them often. Perishable food should not be left out more than 2 hours at room temperature because bacteria can be present if the temperature is above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32.2 degrees Celsius. In case you have leftover food, discard any food left out at room temperature for more than 2 hours. Meaning you cannot eat it because uh, bacteria is visible already in the food. Place food into shallow container and immediately put it in the refrigerator or freezer for rapid cooling so that the growth of bacteria can be avoided. Use cook leftover within 4 days. And don't forget to reheat leftover food for at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 73.9 degrees Celsius so that you are sure enough that the food is safe to consume. And if you're asking me if it is okay to refreeze toad food item, yes it is. Meat and poultry defrosted in the refrigerator may be refrozen before or after cooking. If towed by other methods aside from what I have mentioned earlier, you can cook food before freezing it. And that's the proper way on how you're going to store poultry and game bird dishes according to standards. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to message me in our classroom and i know that you are excited to have another activity it is entitled let's test it all you have to do is to explain if the picture possesses correct starting techniques based on our discussion limit your answer for one to two sentence only and don't forget to submit your answer in our messenger class if you want to have more time to answer this activity, you may pause the video lesson. And I know you're ready enough. Let's start! Okay, time's up. So, what's your answer? Yes, very good. All are correct except for picture one because the chicken is not wrapped and stored properly. In here, cross-contamination is possible since chicken is too close with other food items. Class, always remember the following. Since you are reminded of what we have discussed, let me check your understanding by answering the following question. What have you read on how to store and maintain poultry and game bird dishes according to standards? Number 2. What are the safety practices in handling and storing poultry and game products? 
And number three, how will you maintain the freshness of poultry and other game bird dishes? Answer this in a sheet of paper and submit it in our messenger class. And for your performance task, which is entitled Show Me, take a video of yourself showing how will you store chicken after you purchase it in the supermarket. Limit your video presentation for at least 2 minutes only and submit it in our Google Classroom. And for the last part of this session, we will have our pause test. So kindly go to your Google Classroom and look for the activity which is entitled Q3 Week 8 Pause Test. And that ends our video lesson for today. I hope we learned something with me. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye!